Low Power people. Sunday morning, off over to fly with the CM Paramotors Massive over at Marsden. Weather's looking good. This flying in the middle of the day is excellent. After a summer of just morning and evening and nothing else, I'm liking this. A couple of things I want to get done today. I've got a chase camp. I want to um, give that a proper go, check out the line length, see if it works, work out the best camera angle. The other thing is, check out my cage. Yesterday was just waiting for the rain to stop so that I could get my paramotor strapped to a tree in the garden. I tried with various block and tackle and straps and jacks and things like that to bend it straight, but the spring back on it is just too much. And the frame is such a work of art. It's got so many complex bends and angles in it that knowing in which way to pull it or push it to get it right is difficult but I just spoke to someone at Parajet and apparently not to worry they can sort it out. And the reason I bought that frame in the first place was because it could deal with noob mistakes and the situation I'm in is basically the exact reason I bought that frame. It's uh, I've made a mistake, it's still flyable, it needs a bit of jiggery pokery but it's still usable. I've stood there on the field and seen people make the same mistake and just write off their kit. 800 quid worth of damage. Lost a prop, half the cage, scrapped, snapped, bent. Uh, I did the same thing and it's just compressed the cage and moved it slightly. It only needs to move back an inch, but you might have heard that moment in the fly-in video the other week that the lines briefly touched the prop as I'm launching. I don't want to lose more lines or take off with lines missing. That does need straightening out. So hopefully, I mean, I'm going to get down to Parajet and get it on their jigs or whatever they've got down there and see see what the score is. As I said in the uh, in the video I made when I was buying this machine, I had two choices basically. I could buy like a cheap and disposable two-stroke that would not cost too much to repair after I made silly mistakes. And at the other end of the scale was to get uh, a V2 or a V3 frame with the engine I wanted long term, which was going to be a four stroke of some description. So that's the situation I'm in. I, I, I bought that to put up with these mistakes and it has done. Hopefully I can get it fixed fairly cheap and not have to buy new frame bits like I would have done with a, 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 a daintier motor. Enough chat, let's do it. Okay, seems like we're rolling. Looks like we're gonna have to do a reverse. Not my strong suit. This is the chase cam anyway, it's a 3D printed thing rolling. So this is, I'm hanging this at exactly perpendicular to that. And then I'll film a bit and I'll see what it's like and then that'll tell me whether I need to bend this or whatever. The line length comes at a sort of recommended length. We'll try that one out and see what happens. I can make it shorter. Obviously making it longer is a pain. First time, baby. Ah, uh, look at this wind. Never mind. Did loads of reverses in ground handling. Not had the opportunity to do an actual engine on launch. Jumped off Honey Hill after a reverse for a top to bottom, but nothing real. Grip, flip, clip. So that one's on the top. So I'm turning to my left. Let's give this a go. This is going to be the first of a few failures. Let's see what happens. Not a lot. It's like the wind died. Try again with a bit more love. Three, two, one, go! Up you come, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, baby. Let's have this. Three, two, one.
Don't worry about it. F that. Can't be doing with it. Take two. Right, wind drops off occasionally, so we're going to go for a forward. Reverses are obviously for manlier men than me. And until I get them nailed, I'm going to do forwards. I do need to get them sorted, you know what I mean? It's going to stop you flying if you can't do a reverse when the winds are a bit stronger. But right now, I just want to get up. So the wind drops off occasionally, I'm just going to wait. Okay, just get ready and punch it as soon as that wind plays ball. Here we go. Okay, we're up. It is as rocky as it's advertised. Nice and cold. Yeah, it's not the nicest evening to be up. It's a bit soupy, a bit porridgey. Let's see what the downwind's like. have a quick buzz around, get down, look at the chase cam footage, adjust accordingly and then hopefully do another one to test. Rather depends on whether I'm able to launch in this wind. Yeah look at those socks, all telling different stories. Fun. Let's climb up there. So that'll do, I'm going to come in over that little patch of trees just ahead to the field. Oh, it's a bit crappy up here. Yeah, rotor off. There's a big hill over there, I never noticed before. Probably rotor from that. Down on the field, there's whatever crappy air is making it to that big bunch of trees there is then coming across the field. On just the right day this feels great when it's coming straight down the runway like that. Alright, this landing could well be naff. and horrible down here. Let's get out. I think that that'll be enough. It's not a nice day to be up. The bumps don't worry me as much as they did but still you know, this is quite getting near the very, very top of my comfort zone. Alright, let's, let's 
put it on the ground. This is going to be crappy as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 it's possible, guys. Well, the landing was good, if nothing else. And that landing was effing sexy. Chase Cam getting tied up in stuff is obviously going to be a problem. Did you f***ing see that? <laughs> it's up there, but that's the best landing I've ever done. <laughs> Everyone's having nice landings today. Yeah, well, if you can't land in a bit of wind, you're in trouble. No, yeah. I, was just, I was just like plopped down gently. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's the best one ever! <laughs> right, we're gonna walk back towards the. Um, walk back towards, oh, Graham's gone, is he? Who's Graham? He's running that Uh, yeah. <laughs> you look like one of them pantomime horses. Like a what? Pantomime horse. <laughs> this is para noob <laughs> nice and he's going to go now for a tandem flight yeah he wants to experience exactly what a wing can do and the capabilities of a wing so he's asked me if i'd show him how to do that okay so here goes yeah yeah Paranoob, how did you get on? Excellent, really enjoyed it. Do you feel sick? No, I'd recommend it to anyone. I I'd wouldn't. Let you fly my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>